so I'm going to be talking about um, Noah Webster, and he lived from 1758 to 1843 and was an American lex lexicographer, which means he compiled dictionaries. And he attended Yale at the age of 16 years old and then started to study law in Hartford, Connecticut. But um, when he was attending college, he realized that he really disliked the um, American school system and how the what kids were learning at school was greatly influenced by British, like British and the pronunciation of the British words. And so because of this, he created his first publication, which was called the um, Grammatical Institute of the English Language. And this was um, a book with three parts for spelling, grammar, and reading. And this book was um, standardized spelling in America and because it varied from region to region. And so families all over America started using this spelling book to teach their children how to read. And, Amer and schools all over America started using this as their textbook. And so by 1850, this book had sold over a million copies, and so when he was making money off of this book, he started to create and compile a dictionary. So in 1828, he published the American Dictionary of the English Language, which was um, the first official American dictionary and one of the most complete dictionaries ever. And through this dictionary and his spelling book, um, Noah Webster succeeded in standardizing spelling in America and pronunciation because before him all over the country Americans had pronounced different words um, differently and spelled them differently so through his dictionary and spelling books he unified American language.